Hello guys, welcome to the fourth video tutorial on concept of valuation. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed the concept of compounding. Today, in this video, we will be discussing on discounted or present value concept. Now, the concept of present value is exact opposite of that of compound value. So, what we have understood? that in compound value compound value the objective was that i have i made an investment i made an investment in the zeroth year i made an investment in the zeroth year and i'm trying to calculate what will be the future value this is the calculation which i'm doing what will be the future value based on say for example the interest is 5% and time period given is for, for 5 years. So, if I made an investment in the 0th year, whatever be the amount, my objective was to calculate what will be the future value. If the interest is 5% for a period of 5 years, what will be the future value? But, when we are discussing from the point of view of a present value, present value or we can term this present value or we can term this as discounted present value concept or discounted concept. Now in this particular concept what we say, say for example, there is a possible chance of investing, somebody, an investment banker might be asking me to invest something around 10,000 rupees on the 0th year and for a period of say for 5 years and they are giving me a future value, a maturity amount of say. 13,500. Now, please understand, 10,000 rupees is the investment which I can make as on the 0th year and after 5 years I am going to get 13,500. Now, it is obvious that this 13,500 is a bigger amount compared to rupees 10,000 which I will be getting as the maturity amount after 5 years. But, we also require to understand this 13,500 which I am going to receive after 5 years and we are aware of the fact that every year the value of money is going to fall. So what we require, we require to find out what is the present worth, what is the present worth of this future payment which I am going to receive. That means we are trying to find out what is the present worth of this particular future payment or installment or a series of payment which you are getting as on the zeroth year. So this is the difference between compounding and present value. In compound value concept, we were investing in the zeroth year based on certain interest and time period and we are trying to calculate the future value. But in case of the discounted or the present value concept, we are aware of the fact that we are going to receive an amount of 13,500 after 5 years and suppose we have required to make an investment of rupees 10,000, I require to know, see, there's a difference between these two particular amount, but I require to know 13,500 I'm going to receive after five years. So what is the present worth of this 13,500 as on the zeroth year? So we require to discount 13,500 to the zeroth year to find out its present value. And thereafter, I will compare with 10,000 to understand whether I am looking forward to invest or else I will not invest. So, we have come to a concept which in, in discounted or present value concept, we try to explain a concept which is known as discounting factor. Now, what is a discounting factor? A discounting factor, I am giving you the formula, a discounting factor the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power n. You can write 1 plus r also or else you can write 1 plus i to the power n. So 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power n, i refers to the discounting rate, n refers to the time period. Now let's take an example like valuation of rupee one and for valuation of rupee one let's take the discounting rate the discounting rate that means i'm talking of i 
to be 5%, 10%, and say 15%, just an example. And let us see, find out for first year, second year, third year, fourth year, what will be the what will be the value of rupee one if the discounting rate is five percent, ten percent, and fifteen percent? So let's go back to the calculator. So for the first year, I will be applying the same formula: one divided by one plus i to the power n. So five percent i means zero point zero five. So one divided by we require to use a bracket because there is a power. So bracket. 1.05 just a minute 1 divided by so in bracket 1.05 to the power this is for one year to the power one so rupee one after one year will be 0 0.952 almost 95 percent after two years the value of rupee one will go down further to 0 0.907 after three years the value of rupee one will be 0 0.863 and after four years the value will be 0 0.822 so, so we have understood this that with reference to value uh, valuation of rupee one, one rupee after one year will be ninety five paisa, after two years will be ninety one paisa, after three years will be eighty six paisa, after four years will be eighty two paisa. The value of money is falling. In case, say for example, if the discounting rate is ten percent, so we will can we will consider it as one point one. So we will consider this as to be. 1.1 .1 to the power for the first year to the power 1 so it will be 0 0.909 for the second year it will be 0 0.826 for the third year it will be 0 0.751 for the fourth year it will be 0 0.683 Similarly, if we are trying to calculate for 15%, so it will be 1.15 to the power 1, which means to say 0 0.869, power 2, 0 0.756, power 3, 0 0.657, and power 4, giving 0 0.5. Seven one. Now, what what this means? Valuation of rupee one after one year, five percent, ten percent, fifteen percent as discounting rate. Just an example. After value of rupee one after one year will be ninety five percent in case of five percent, ninety percent in case of ten percent, and eighty six percent in case of fifteen percent. So higher the discounting rate, higher the discounting rate, the value of rupee one deteriorates or decline or discounts further. So, at the end of the fourth year, rupee one will be eighty-two paisa after four years at five percent discounting rate. Will be sixty-eight paisa as on the fourth year with a discounting rate of ten percent, and will go to fifty-seven paisa only. One rupee moves down to fifty-seven paisa after four years at fifteen percent discounting rate. Therefore, we understood that higher the discounting rate the uh, present value of this future cash inflow will deteriorate further or will we get discounted further with with reference to rupee 1 as what we have got in this particular structure now let's move on let's take an example of how we calculate now mr x is looking forward to invest rupees 10,000 the same example which we did so interest 
the discounting sorry sorry not the interest the discounting rate just a minute the discounting rate say is 10 percent and the time period is five years and the investment banker says that the future value will be rupees 15,000 now if he if he requests to calculate now see he is making an investment in the zero eight year is rupees 10,000 discounting rate is 10 percent time is for five years and the future value is rupees 15,000 so what kind of formula we apply so we calculate that present value present value will be equal to future value divided by the discounting factor if you remember the discounting factor was 1 divided by 1 plus i so into into 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power n so if i calculate this my future value is rupees 15000 divided by 1 plus i is 10 percent which is 0 0.10 to the power say 5 so we, again we require a calculator to solve this so uh, so that it, it's 15,000 divided by 1.1 to the power 5 so 15,000 divided by we require a bracket since we have a power 1.1 bracket to the power 5 we're giving an amount where the present value is coming the it's coming rupees 9313.82 now what it means see 10,000 rupees required to be invested on the 0th year and it was discounting rate was 10% for 5 years and the future value was 15,000 so I calculated 15,000 we are going to receive after 5 years I am trying to find out what is the present value of this future, what is the present value of this invest, the, uh, the maturity amount which we are which we are going to receive after 5 years. So what is its current present value? So current present value is 9313, 9313. Now if you compare with that of the entire investment which I have done, the investment was 10,000 rupees. So which means which refers to the fact that uh, that 15,000 future value which I'm going to receive after 5 years if I convert this 15,000 as on date present value it's 9313 which is less than the probable investment amount so I will prefer not to invest in this particular case let's take one more example into consideration I've been given two investment options and I require to decide which particular option I am going to follow or rather I will prefer so investment there are two investment opportunity which is there so one is option A another is option B and I prefer to invest in only one of the option I'm being said that you require to invest and that's on the 0th year, 10,000. This is also, say for example, 10,000. And the discounting rate, the discounting rate is 10% under both cases. Time this is for 5 years this is for 10 years and the future value which has been given say the future value under this case 10,000 rupees you are looking forward to invest at 10% for 5 years is giving 15,000 and for this it's giving 20,000 or rather say, say let's take it as 21,000 I'll just change this figure 21,000 let's see let's let's calculate so what what is the formula which we are going to apply the formula we are going to apply is that present value will be equal to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n 
So this is the particular formula which we are going to apply. So we use a calculator in order to find it. So uh, so for option so for option one or option A, ten thousand rupees invested at ten percent for five years, for and the amount is we are getting is fifteen thousand. So future value is fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand. 15,000 divided by 1 plus i, i is 10% for 5 years. So, bracket 1 plus i, 1 point, 10% uh, is 1.10, back close to the power for 5 years. Now it's coming 9313, which we calculated before. 9313.81. Let's see for this. 10,000 invested. Discounting rate 10% for 10 years. And I'm getting 21,000. So let's calculate this. So 21,000 divided by bracket 1.10 bracket to the power. This is for 10 years. Now this is also coming as 8096. Now please understand, please understand, I'm getting 15,000 which I'm going to receive after 5 years, the current valuation, the present value is 9313, which is less than 10,000. I will not invest. I will not invest because the present value is less than the current investment which I'm doing. So I will not prefer to invest. Option B, 21,000 I'm going to receive after 10 years, 10% 10 discounting rate. 21,000 as on date. 10 years as on date present value is 8096 and how much you are asking me to invest 10,000 I will also not invest in this rather if I would have said something like say for example in this particular case I have asked you I have asked you to invest 8,000 rupees say I'll just give an example 8,000 rupees I have asked you to invest. 10%, 5 years, 15,000. Your 15,000 as converted to present value is 9313, which is higher. This particular value, even though 15,000 future value has been converted to present value, is higher compared to 8,000 rupees invested as in the 0th year. So then under such circumstances, I will invest in such kind of a project. So I hope the concept is clear with reference to the present value and the future value and with reference to discounting or present value concept. In the next class or in the next video, we will discuss about the present value of a series of cash flow. Thank you.